Coming up in the news, Christians advise to keep their focus on God in 2020. Also, the New Year's Day Junkanoo Parade now underway. And hear what residents are hoping for this year. The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, starts now. This is the Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Happy New Year to you all. I'm Shashina wolf and As always, it is so great to have you with us. Topping news is part of the Bahamian tradition, ushering in a new year in church. The annual watch night service where churchgoers reflect on the past year and petition for divine guidance for the year ahead. Several churches hosting watch night services on Grand Bahama and last night among them was Calvary Temple where Christians were admonished to continue to spread God's word, especially now that the world is watching. But for the grace of God, many believers say they would not have made it through 2019. As many gathered at the annual watch night service at Calvary Temple Church, those in attendance celebrated through praise and worship, the end of a year which now singles the beginning of a new decade. I believe one of the reasons why, you know, a lot of people have been asking, why did we go through this hurricane? Why did we went through this hurricane? And there are many answers for that. But I believe one of the answers as Christians, as believers, is so that we can shine in the world. And I believe that the world is looking on Grand Bahama. The world is looking on Abaco and watching to see what exactly will the believers be doing. He says now is the time for Christians to take advantage of spreading the gospel as the world is watching. The eyes of the world, Abaco, is now upon you. The eyes of the world, Freeport, is now upon you. And believers, this is our hour. This is our time. This is our season, in spite of, to shine forth, to be the light of the world, to be the salt in the earth to show people that there is a God in heaven. But he notes that we must also remember that we came through 2019 because of God. Therefore, the focus must continue to be on him. As much as I'm thankful like everyone else for all the NGOs, all the different people that came in and rendered help to us, that our eyes and our focus, our attention, should be on God because he's the one who has the power. He's the one who brought them together. He's the one who's our provider. He's the one who's supplying for us. Come on, somebody, and give the Lord a praise. God is our provider. Shishina Will Farkasin, Zedanets. And as the new year rolls in, many residents of the East are hoping to leave the challenges of 2019 behind. Dangerous Storm Dorian battered that community last September, taking 10 lives and 29 others are still missing. But residents say they are determined to forge ahead in 2020 in spite of the pain. Italia Hall has more. It's been almost four months since the passage of Hurricane Dorian, but the trail of destruction is still visible throughout the community of East Grand Bahama. On this New Year's Day holiday, residents were doing their best to start afresh as they were hard at work making repairs to their homes. Leland Lang Jr., the owner of High Point Beach Bar and Takeout, says his business sustained damage, but as 2020 rolls in, he is optimistic about the future. I think, um, although... Hurricane Dorian was very um, a tragic storm and we lost so many lives here in the community. I think it's going to give Eastern the opportunity to bounce back and come back in a new way. You know, give Eastern the opportunity to evolve. And that's what I'm looking for, not only business-wise, but even as a community, the opportunity for those who might 
have been away from the community a while to come back to rebuild, to help build back up the community. Bishop's Resort and Restaurant, a staple in the East Grand Bahama community for many years, is no more. It was destroyed by Hurricane Dorian, but owner Reuben Bishop Roberts remains hopeful that 2020 will be the year for rebuilding. Because there's nothing here now, all the business is gone. My business is gone. I lose hotel, lose the two restaurants, and my house I had to repair. So, and a whole lot of people here in that same position, you know. And uh, right now we need all the help we could get to get this community up and running, you know what I mean? And this is the original community, and so we need to get some things going on here. And most of all, uh, what is help heighten us so bad is no electricity. As well, David Roberts is optimistic as well. But he says he too believes more help is needed if East Grand Bahama is to return to what it once was. It's in the best state it ever could be in because what happened is a lot of the damages has already been done. So we could rebuild and rebuild anew. Jefford Kemp says he believes 2020 will be a positive year for the community. Well, it could be good things coming, new things, especially this settlement needs a whole total rebuild. And, um, well, as far as the clean-up part makes me feel kind of a little bit that something's going to happen. You know, this is just the first thing in the year, so you can't expect it to uh, happen immediately. But uh, I, I feel hopeful that, that, that this will be a bigger and better settlement, even though we went through all this turmoil. And Leela Lang Jr., left this bit of advice for residents in the East. We've been here before, it might not have been in the same way, but tragedies happen every day. And then we just have to keep um, the faith alive and trust in God and know that anything that he puts on us that we can bear. A new year, a new start, and one that many hope will be filled with joy, one that they would definitely enjoy. It's Halia Hall, ZNS Network News. UNEXO here on Grand Bahama has something great to celebrate on the first day of 2020. Carnival Cruise Line has given UNEXO the leading tour operator award. Carnival Adventure Senior Director of Product Development, Marketing and Operations, Erica Tay, noting that they admire UNEXO's commitment to excellence, business practices, and its reputation for first-class service. Now every season, Carnival Cruise Line recognizes the company that receives the highest rating from both their passengers and onboard shore excursion staff for shore excursions conducted the previous season. Carnival averages about 15 calls a month to Freeport. While the 2020 New Year's Day Junk New Parade is now in full swing on Pioneer's Way here in Freeport, nine groups are participating this year, including two new groups in the A Division. The parade is a free event organized to bring some entertainment to the island after going through a rough time with Hurricane Dorian. This time around, judging has been scaled down from 10 to 5 categories. First out of the blocks tonight, the Stingers, the defending champs Platinum Knights, is fifth in the lineup, and the parade will close out with the Superstar Rockers. Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Lanisha Roll, is also expected to be in attendance. Bushwhackers, Grand Bahamas Green Team. Now the Bushwhackers green team will also be on the parade route. For the Bushwhackers, it is all about preparation. Early this morning, these junkaneurs were out and about into their four select greens to decorate their costumes. This community group endeavors to have fun while sharing in the tradition of junkanoo. It's a fun group. We qualified next year, we going for number eight. And Tell the plastic dance and all of them, watch your fast. We use a, um, a belt and then we put on a piece with, with flap while you're dancing. We'll be using um, leaf anyhow so you know how the leaves are supposed to fly. Okay, and then we, um, this year, we use more like a crown. We try and improve from the leaf while we still the bushwhackers moving up. 
Okay, you will notice the difference in the design of the costume this year. Come out of the bush. Right, let's see something. <laughs> what a move. Well, <laughs> the bushwhackers say native flowers like the yellow elder and the hibiscus will all be a part of their native show. Now, when you see the bushwhackers in action, be sure to look out for Big Mike. So, Mike, showtime tonight. What can we expect from you once you touch that road and you're ready for Junkie? Well, I can do it bad. Just your ladies, just lock up for me, because I can be carrying on bad dancing. So, if you say you're going to carry on bad, let me see. Let me see you carry on bad right now. Let, let's see something. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> Stay with us, there's more news on the other side of the break. <laughs> 